So far, you've actually learned a number of important and useful programmatic techniques, but all of our examples have been very short, and you've been able to po um, paste them directly into the Rebel interpreter. In order to work with more complex examples and to send your programs to be used by other people, you're going to need to learn how to um, copy and paste the code into a text file and how to compile them, uh, those programs into executables. Whenever you do that, whenever you, you create a, a larger program, when you paste it into a text file, that text needs to be he headed by this little header, um, rebel, the word rebel, and then a block. That block can be empty or it can contain some more information uh, about the program. You can, for example, include a title, um, and there are a variety of other things that you can include, anything basically that you want um, about the program. But uh, you assign the word, title, to some text, and that will appear in the, um, the header bar of the program when it runs, so you see that as the name of the program. Um, that rebel header just tells the interpreter that the, the code starts there and that it contains some um, rebel code. If you don't include that header, you'll get an error when you try and run the, the program. This little um, program we're going to take, this is a webcam viewer program. It's one of the programs that's in the uh, downloadable examples in the zip file that's available at the top of the web page. Um, and we're going to paste that into a um, uh, into a text file. So we take that code, paste it into a into a text file, and we're going to save it as um, on, on D drive as webcam dash r. Most Rebel programs by default are uh, ended in the uh, uh, with a dot r as the extension. Save that onto the D drive. And now there are a number of ways which we can run that. Uh, once you've saved it, we saved it on the D drive because Windows Vista can, can give you problems running things directly from the C drive. Um, so all of these C colon backslashes we're going to change to D. Um, but if you have the Rebel interpreter installed, any .r file, if you have um, gone through the default installation, any .r file will be associated with the Rebel interpreter, and you can just click on it, and it'll run as if it's an executable program, as if it's an .exe program. So I'm going to go to the D drive, look at the uh, webcam.r file, and it will run. If we click on it, it will run as if um, as if we're running an executable file. And this little program shows us some video from a, a webcam that's on the internet and it sends a video stream out. You can start it and stop it and uh, resize it if you like. Um, and it shows us that video, uh, the live video from the server. And there are a number of other ways that you can run the program. Um, you can go into the Rebel interpreter and just like we use the word do to um, to run um, a function, we can type do and then we we'll use the um, percent sign for the D drive and type in our web run the program. So in this way you can create um, create programs and create separate little modules uh, in programs and have uh, one main program run a variety of little modules that you save as different files. That's useful. Um, you can also go into the Rebel Interpreter and uh, it has the built-in editor and if you just type in the code or copy and paste the code, let's copy and paste it again. Um, we can load that file directly um, or we can just type edit a none, that'll bring up the editor with no file. Copy and paste it and then we can save it. 
never file a bike. Let's just pull that out the hyphen. I can press F5 and that'll run the program. So that's a nice way, and because Rebel is cross-platform, it's a great way to be able to edit and run your your programs uh, in the exact same environment, no matter what operating system you're on. You can get Rebel for Mac or uh, for Linux or for um, Windows, and it looks the same on every operating system, and you can get access to this editor on every operating system. So if you don't have an editor that you're familiar with on a Macintosh machine, but you want to run your Rebel programs, this is a great way to do it. Press F5 when you're in that uh, in that editor. Um, in Windows, you can also invoke the um, uh, the Rebel interpreter. Uh, for example, the downloaded view program that we that we uh, uh, got from the Rebel website, and then uh, have it run the uh, uh, the script that we want. So, for example, we can. Um, go to the run command in Windows, start and uh, run the run command, which is off screen here. Uh, in Windows Vista, you go to accessories and then click on run. This is going to be out of your out of your viewer, but run in this case D U. Uh, type the wrong wrong thing in here. Um, again, go to start programs and then accessories and then run. Do D run. run the webcam program and that will that will run it just like any of the other options. Um, we can also do that in a DOS box, or we can put it in a batch file, or any other way that you can run an executable in Windows. We can run the Rebel interpreter and follow it by the path to the to the script that we created.